Hello again, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum, as well as DVD Architect. And here we are in Vegas Movie Studio 16, looking at some of the new features in the program. One of the first and most obvious features you're going to notice when you start up the program is that Magix has added a brand new welcome screen. And on this welcome screen, you have a number of options. Of course, the left side is for opening a recent project or opening an existing project. But over here on the right, you see that you have some new features. Number one is that you have the option of starting a new project not only in widescreen, which is the standard for most video shot today, or you can open it in tall screen. That is when you hold your phone upright. So that aspect ratio, that is available to you also. Uh, down here at the bottom, you have power user mode. That's where we spend most of our time in our books and in our tutorials because this is the full featured editor. But directly above it, you have options for using some easy creation modes. These will walk you through the process of creating a video. And they have both easy editing modes and guided video creator. They're similar, but a little bit different too. So let's go ahead and try easy editing modes. We click on that button and it wants us to gather some media. So let's gather some media. We'll just grab some video footage here at random. Click open. And once it opens up, you'll see that the video is not gathered on a typical timeline where we're stacking videos and audio tracks on top of each other and then assembling them. But there's a single track here and it's a storyboard. The storyboard means you're only seeing a thumbnail of each scene and we can rearrange those very easily by just by just simply let me deselect them all and just select one by simply dragging them around in there so we can easily arrange the order of them here on this storyboard now the storyboard is available throughout the program in a couple of different areas but here in easy editing mode the storyboard becomes your timeline now once we select options here for adding text and titles or graphics or transitions we're going to go into a more traditional timeline let's select add text and titles and now you see we open into something that looks a little more like a traditional timeline, a little more traditional workspace. Now off to the left is the dashboard. I usually close the dashboard, but it's a great tool here for just kind of jumping from step to step as you create your video. Right now it's in titles and text mode and we can call this walking. And naturally we could apply styles or animations to that title as we could with any title. And we can even reposition that title here on our timeline. We can add graphic elements or video transitions, add video effects. And then finally, when we're done, when we've assembled our movie, we can select the option here to make our movie. Now, at any point during our guided edits or our easy edit modes, we have the option of jumping to power user mode. That will simply open up the full featured timeline for us. So we can use this as a starting point or we can complete our entire movie in one of the easy editing modes or the easy creation modes. When I select make movie, it opens up the make movie screen where we have options for uploading to a social media site, burning to our hard drive or creating a DVD. It's very nice, especially if you're new to the program, a great way to get used to the steps involved in creating a movie and a greatly simplified workspace, especially that assembly area on the storyboard. Now, if you want to know more about the tools that are available here in Vegas Movie Studio Platinum, I hope you'll check out the many tips and tutorials at moviepix.com. If you want to know everything about the program, the moviepix.com guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum, as well as DVD Architect, those are available at amazon.com. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again real soon.